Hey everyone, it is Mona here at Craft Clutch, and today is Friday. That means it is another Coaster Friday. Today we're going to do Halloween coasters with a Halloween theme with temporary tattoos. For this coaster, I went to the party store and I found these tattoos, and they had kind of an old-timey, creepy look to them. And I thought, this guy for sure, the skull in a top hat, is definitely going to make it onto a coaster. So the first thing I need to do is make the background. I want to make it a lighter background because obviously the lighter it is, the better that's going to show. This won't get lost in a background color, but I don't want it to be stark white. So I decided that I'm going to use the fast cast because that one does cure white. However, I'm going to add some pigment powder to it just to kind of take the edge off of the white. And you can also just use regular resin, regular clear resin, add some pigment powders to come up with the color that you want. Either or will work out fine. I've mixed two ounces of the Fast Cast and I'm going to split it. Remember, you have limited working time. So I'm going to throw some of the copper into the one. Mix it up, pour it right in. It looks pretty dark, but because this actually cures white, it's gonna cut that color way down. And then I'm gonna take a bunch in this one. This is blue russet. Okay, then we'll let this sit for about 15 minutes. We don't need to pop any bubbles or anything, just leave it be, and then we'll see what colors they end up being. Here they are, and they got some beautiful color in there. And I thought it might be just a little bit too dark. I didn't think I'd have maybe enough contrast with the tattoos. So I did it again with about half as much pigment powder, and I think these turned out like the perfect color. All I'm gonna do now is apply the tattoos to the coasters. So I'm gonna cut out the tattoo that I want. And I'm gonna cut close to the image. I've cut my designs and I kind of know where they want where I want them to go. So I'm gonna take that clear layer off, flip it over on here to there, and I'm gonna just take a wet wipe, wet it all down. Okay, now I'm gonna carefully peel it off. Beautiful. And now I'm gonna put the hands on here. Again, I'm just using a wet wipe, wet wipe or a baby wipe. This is just what I use to clean up in the craft room. It gets resin off and stuff like that off your hands. So this is perfect. And there it is. Now we're going to move over to this one. There we go. Then I'm going to take a little bit of metallic black paint and the back of my skewer stick. And I'm just going to make dots around this whole thing. And while this is drying, I'm gonna mix some resin. So I have my resin mixed and I have two ounces. Now I'm gonna pour it right over these and it's about an ounce each. All we need to do is cover it to seal it. Now I'm gonna take my lighter, pop the bubbles. I'll come back a couple more times just to see if there's any more bubbles that need to be popped. And then we're gonna let this sit a minimum of 12 hours. These have cured and I'm gonna take them out of the mold pop right out and here you go. The backgrounds turned out pretty cool. They almost have like a marble finish to them which I was not expecting um, but they almost give it like an old-timey look which goes along with these tattoos. Be sure to let me know what you think of them down in the comments below. I hope you guys like the Halloween temporary tattoo coasters and I hope you give them a try. I hope you have a very happy Halloween and I will definitely see you next time. Remember, life is too short not to shimmer, so grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Bye guys!